welcome you this morning. We're really glad that you're here. And I think at this time, we have the privilege of welcoming our children. They've been practicing for months. So let's put your hands together. Let's welcome those kids in the name of the Lord. Broadcasting Channel's Evening News Report. Yes, welcome to the BBC TV Channel 88 in a beautiful downtown Bethlehem proudly presents The, the news. news. That was fun. It sure was, but we're not just here for fun. We're here for, for the, the news. news. And we can't do the news without our news team. That's right. We have the best news team in all of Bethlehem. Our reporters, our camera people, and so many more. Together we work hard to keep you informed. There's not much to report today. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we have... But we have breaking news. Breaking news? That's right, breaking news. King Herod has a special announcement that he wants to make. A special announcement? That can't be good. He always does terrible things. <laughs> That's right, I'm receiving word that King Herod is holding a press conference at his palace. Our reporter Jesse's on the scene. Jesse, what's going on? Jesse, are you there? <gasps> Um, I don't know if he can hear us. Yes, I'm here, and something big is going on. I don't know what it is, but King Herod said he wanted us to meet him here, and then he would tell us what was going on. But for sure, I know that something big is going on. Oh, here he is now. King Herod, King Herod, bring me. King Herod. Down, calm down. Lots of questions when I'm finished. No buts! Do you know who I am? King Howard! I'm the most important person in this room! That's what I said! Silence! <clears throat> I have an announcement to make. Are you alright, King Howard? Silence! I was just clearing my throat. Now, as I was saying, I have an announcement to make. <clears throat> Are you sure you're alright, King Herod? Maybe you need a cough drop. I've got one right here. Silence! I don't need a cough drop. Now, for my announcement, starting from today, there will be a census. A census? Yes, a census. So we will count everyone in the kingdom. So everyone needs to return to the place they are born. This is very, very important. So that's why I'm holding this press conference. You're welcome. <laughs> but King Herod, why are you doing a census? Well, there is talk of a new king being born. A new king? 
Yes, King Herod is scared. Hey, wait a minute. A new king? That's fake news. <laughs> There is going to be a new king. He will bring freedom to our people. For to us a son is given, to us a child is born, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Wow, you all are so brave to, to tell this in front of King Herod. How are you so brave? breaking news. I hope a new king does come soon. Me too. King Howard's terrible. Well, let's see how this news is affecting the traffic with our next segment, Traffic, traffic with, with Michelle. Michelle. That's That's right. Traffic news with our reporter, Michelle. Michelle, how's the traffic outside Bethlehem? Michelle? Michelle, are you there? Can you hear us? It's a mess out here on the streets. People are packing up and traveling to the place of their birth. The traffic is backed up for miles. Michelle, see if you can interview someone. I'll try my best, but people are rushing around. Excuse me, excuse me, may I ask you a few questions? Not now, we're in a big hurry. We have to get to Nazareth. It'll only take a minute. I'm Michelle for BBC News, Bethlehem Broadcasting Channel. The BBC? Yes, now may I ask you a few questions? Uh, fine, well, we're, we're in a big hurry. <laughs> we have to get to Why that. are you in such a rush? The announcement was only made this morning. Uh, well, my wife, Rari, is with a child. Well, we don't have much time to travel while she's such a state. I see. He isn't just any child. The angel visited me and told me that he would be called the Son of God. Tell me more. Well, the angel with, is here with us. His name is Gabriel. Gabriel, say hi. <laughs> Hello, You're an angel? Yes, I was sent by God to deliver this message to Mary and Joseph. What did you tell Mary and Joseph? I said, Mary, do not be afraid. You have found favor with God. You to have a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great. He will be called the son of the Most High Lord, We'll get in the place where his early father David sat. He'll be king over the family of Jacob forever, and his nation will have no end. How can this be? The Holy Spirit will come to her. The power of the Most High will cover her. The Holy Child she gives birth to will be called the Son of God. I am the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. We will shall call him Jesus because he saved his people from their sins. No, we have to hurry. <laughs> Joseph is right. We have to hurry if we want to make it in time. 
It looks I have like more people to tell, tell about this news, about this glorious birth. It looks like the traffic has started moving. We have to be on our way. But wait, I have more questions. Well, there you have it, some amazing news. I hope we can catch up with them later in Nazareth. I'm Michelle for BBC News. Traf Back to you in the studio. <laughs> Wow, what amazing news! We'll have to follow up on that story. But while we wait, we have more news segments to do. That's right, the news doesn't stop here at BBC News. Next up is Sports Talk with our host, Chuck Gordon. Take it over, Chuck. Thank you, I've been sitting here in the studio with the most famous football team in the world right now, the Bethlehem Shepherds. Oh. As we all know, they won the World Cup this year, and we here at Bethlehem Broadcasting Channel couldn't be prouder. We've got a lot of questions for you all, so to start off, which one of you is the team captain? I am! All of you? Don't listen to them. I am the team captain. I am the number one champion. You can see on my jersey. Just because your jersey says number one doesn't make you captain. I thought we all decided that I was captain. No, that's not right. I'm the captain of this team. I'll tell you what, why don't I interview all three of you? Okay. okay. Now you had an amazing victory over the Galilee Rams. It won you the World Cup. How did you manage that? It was only natural. What? Of course we were going to win. Um, I don't understand. We are shepherds. They are rams. They had to do whatever we said. Oh, uh. I, guess that make, I guess that makes sense now. Now, I have a, a few more questions about... Shepherds! I have news for you all! Ah, oh, where did, did you come, come from? from? Shepherds, do not be afraid. He's gonna send me a ship. I have, I have a message for you all. What news? This but is truly great news. But how will I find this baby that has been born? No worries, Shepherd. Come on and follow me. This is but wonderful. This is wonderful. This is
you have it. The Shepherds are on the move. I'm Chuck Gordon, and you've been watching Sports Talk with Chuck Gordon. Well, that is some amazing sports reporting. Chuck Gordon always gets the best scoop. And that angel, how amazing was that? Something big is happening for sure. We'll have to look into it. But for now, we turn to our next segment. That's right, it's time for our weather report with Sunny Day. Sunny, what is the weather forecast for this week? Well, things are getting pretty strange with the weather. Let me show you on the board. There's a big cold front moving up the coast, and that's going to affect people throughout this region. It's snow joke. Get it? Snow joke? <laughs> There's also some rain clouds gathering over here, but the main thing that people are noticing is that there's a strange new star in the sky. No one knows where it's come from or what it's doing here. I've called in a few guests to help explain this star. These are the three wise men who apparently know everything there is to know about stars. That's right. We are three wise men. Mm -hmm. And we have been following that star si closely since it has appeared. Interesting. And what have you found out in your studies of following this Studies? Star? What do you mean? We haven't studying. But you just said that you've been following this star. I assume you've learned something in your research. We haven't been studying or researching. I don't understand. What is there to understand? We've been following that star. It's been a long journey. My feet hurt. When can we stop? We'll uh, get there. We'll get there when the star is here. Oh, I see the confusion. You've actually been following this star. Yes. And we have been following that star. Something amazing is happening, and we must see it. But what will you do when you get there? We're not sure. Well, I am sure. Yeah, me too. We will say... be on our way. Okay then, and that was the weather report with Sunny Day. Back to you in the studio. Well, that was surprising. And now for our next section, People, People on the Street. street. People on the street with our reporter Jesse. Jesse, it has been an eventful day. How are people on the streets reacting? Well, there's been a lot of breaking news. Seeing angels in the sky, a new star, lots and lots of breaking news. Hey, I know you, Mary Joseph. Is that you? I don't know the reporter. 
Not another reporter. Yes, it's you. You've been, yes, it's you. You've been traveling so far. We've been traveling so far that we need a place to stay. Joseph, I'm worried. We don't have enough time. The baby is almost due. Hmm. Oh, it looks like a big crowd is heading this way. I bet they're looking for room two. <laughs> Shepherds. Shepherds. child. Shepherds, go tell everyone you see. And all who had heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them, but Mary treasured up all these things, and things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. As it had been told them, the wise men returned shortly after. We, we have brought, brought gifts. Wonderful. What have you brought? I brought gold. I have brought myrrh. I have brought frankincense. Thank you. And behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. Glory 
to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. and thanked God for sending his Son, the birth of our Lord and Savior. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. We have been the Bethlehem Broadcasting Channel. Join us in celebration and sing along.
Wow. Thank you. And we're going to get back to thanking you. But first of all, I'd like to thank Jacqueline. Now, she put together the program. She put together a far better thank you than I'm going to give. But Jacqueline, I'd like you to stand up for a second. I'm leaving soon, so I can ask you questions. I know you don't oh. like this. You're hum very yeah. humble. How did this all get started? Mm. How did it did all get you started? write this play? <laughs> or did you have some help? Well, I cannot take credit for that. It's well, who should we give it credit to uh, then? Ben, right? Ben, oh, ben and come on. Nathan. OK. Oh, it's, it's a collaboration. It's all of us. Dog tails. Yes, and also Chris. Is Chris here? No. And also Chris. So far of But you us, had nothing to do with I it, right? I had nothing to okay. do with it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Nothing to do with it. It's all Ben. Hey, thank but you. thank you. Yes. And Jacqueline, you were a joy to work with and a gift, and we really appreciate what you've done. I've seen a lot of them in this time. I don't know that I've ever seen a children's musical where the kids made the roles their own the way these kids did. <laughs> it was phenomenal. Uh, let's have the BBC uh, anchors and, and uh, reporters stand. Unbelievable. <laughs> You've got a role in that industry if you want it. That's great. <laughs> And then the wise men. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> and then the holy family. Well done. And the shepherds. Whoa. but I think we have to admit the sheep stole the show. Let's have them. <laughs> thank you, everyone. And I think uh, you should thank your parents for getting you here. So why don't we thank the parents? <laughs> Thank you for a wonderful and winsome retelling of the Christmas story. This is as Jack. Oh, King Herod. Oh, King Herod. Oh, and the angel. Oh. Oh, just my luck. I forget King Herod, the mean guy, right? <laughs> hey, thank you guys again, every one of you. Now, Chris, what do we do? Well, I think we're going to have a group photo, and I'll play some background music, and um, we can all enjoy a time of fellowship. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for each child. I thank you for the in amazing performance they put on. But I also thank you that you reminded us again of your love for us through Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for each of these young people and for the way that you will continue to work in their lives. Father, we thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace, and the chance to celebrate that together. And thank you for what our children have taught us this day. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Yes. Hello. Okay, parents, uh, coming Saturday on the 15th, I believe, yes, uh, we will be bringing the same musical onto Holf. Have you guys heard about Holf? Home of Loving Faithfulness, uh, where they uh, look after people with a, uh, disabilities. So we'll bring a uh, Christmas a, uh, great news with, uh, for them and for the residents and the workers there. So if you're interested, do join us. It will bring a lot of joy for the residents of Hull. So next Saturday, 15th of December from 9.30 to 1.30. There will be a bus picking us up from Union Church, and the same bus will take us back here again to Union Church. So do join us. There will be a sign-up sheet outside. And the children, can we all stand up, please? And parents, we have two minutes for group photos. So take up all your iPhones and everything else. And children, can we give a big smile for our parents, please? 
and also volunteers. Can we join our children? Come, come, volunteers, teachers, Ben and Nathan. Can we join them? And the teachers, Sunday school teacher Carly. Okay, let's all stand next to. Can you guys join? Come, come. All right, everybody, look to your parents. Robin. Okay, everybody, on the count of three, say one, two, three, Jesus. Okay, next one. On the count of three, say happy birthday, Jesus. One, two, three. Okay, on the count of three again, what, we say I love, I, do we love ice cream? Yeah, we love ice cream. So let's say on the count of three, we love ice cream. One, two, three. We love ice cream. Okay, one more with me, sorry. Are we okay, parents? All right. And you may pick your children up in room two and three, but give us five more minutes, okay? Thank you.